let me holler at you guys real quick. So in the book, The Tactical Guide to Women, there's a section inside that I have highlighted. All right. I'm going to read a bit of it to you. The author is Sean T. Smith, and this is the cover of the book. I think all men should have this book in their library. Okay, first of all, most men don't even have a fucking library, <laughs> but most men should have this book inside it, along with the books that you guys see in the comment section when I remember to put it there, <laughs> because I actually have to, so normally my flow is a specific way when I upload videos. Most of you guys are not content creators. I understand that. So you guys might think, oh, it's probably pretty simple. I have a certain flow and the flow doesn't usually include me, especially on my other channels to put sh shit in the comment section and pin it. So I forget sometimes and then I'm reminded kindly by my fans. So <clears throat> this goes, are you a high value men? And it goes, this book is for high value men. Sometimes that term refers to a man's income or to the bounty on his head. Here it refers to the kind of man, rich or poor, whom women seek out for long-term commitment. And then I'm going to skip ahead because it kind of just goes into some other stuff, but I want you guys to read it so you guys can understand what the fuck I'm saying here. The high value man, according to evolutionary psychologists, is one who possesses that which women look for. In an outstanding review of evolutionary research, David Schmidt, 2005, described the most basic animalistic traits men and women seek in each other. So I want to start dropping a lot more truth on this channel instead of, <clears throat> I'm still going to drop no contact and what to do and all the breakup shit because I tell the men that I do coach and I bring them down a much more masculine path and uh, I position my content a certain way so a lot of people will see it. Um, but <clears throat> I want to take the content to a more truth direction focus, which is why I'm going to start pissing some people off because a lot of people don't like the truth. Truth is, I got a big fucking nose. It's the truth. Truth can't be ignored. I can, I can ignore the consequences, right? But like Corey Wayne says, you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. You can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality because it's right there in your face. Men place a greater premium on signals of fertility and reproductive value, such as a woman's youth and physical appearance. So a lot, a lot, a lot of my students, if you hear any background noise, it's just the heater. It's a little chilly today. A lot of my students love those tens, those nines. Talking about women, how hot they are, right? They love those girls. But as you get older, you realize it's not always the best idea to go after somebody who is the hottest of the hot. Now, there are some girls out there who are tens and nines who are absolutely awesome. They're great people, right? It's better to go after a woman who is, you know, seven and eight. That is a lot more easy to get along with, okay? Than a bitchy and a bitchy 10 or an asshole 10, okay? Uh, Rich Cooper put something on his, on his channel, a post like that. Would you rather go out with a bitchy 10 or a... Uh, I can't remember the word he used, but like a, an agreeable seven or something like that. <clears throat> I would much rather go out with somebody who creates <clears throat> a lot less drama or somebody who doesn't create drama at all than somebody who just, you know, who is, who's an asshole, but they're hot. In contrast, women place a greater premium on a man's status, resources, ambition, and maturity. Cues relevant to his ability for long-term provisioning and to his kindness, generosity, and emotional openness cues to his willingness to provision women and their children. Again, no surprises, he says. Men in general prefer a nice hip-to-waist ratio. Women in general prefer a nice debt-to-asset ratio. So what constitutes a high-value man in a modern world? It appears little has changed since our ancestors were hunting and gathering. A man's value to women Boils down to two words, Dr. Schmidt uh, italicized, ability and willingness. Ability and willingness. So a high value man, what does he bring to the table? What are his abilities? What can he do? Why do women always say, what is it you do? What is your ability in life? So the losers of the world have no abilities, have no, they don't do anything, <laughs> right? And willingness. So this is where a lot of guys who are too stiff, who are too masculine, 
fail. So I have quite a few students who who come to me and they're like, bro, like I'm masculine as fuck, but I'm missing this part. I wasn't able to open up to my woman. I wasn't able to connect to my woman. And that's what she complained about, right? Still creating that negativity that I always speak of in my videos. Negativity creates breakups, usually through complacency or insecurity. However, there's an other side to that spectrum, which is <clears throat> you're too stiff, right? I say this to some of my students. I'm like, bro, you're too stiff. You're not, you're not, you're not funny. You're not open enough. You're, you're, it's almost like you're trying, you have a hard turtle shell on. You got to open up. Most masculine alpha males out there are the ones that it's, it's, it's not that you have to be stiff, strong all the fucking time. You're open. Nothing can hurt your heart. Okay. You, you've been through some shit. You, it doesn't, being an alpha male doesn't mean you have to be, go through shit, but you're able to, to take it and adapt to it and not let it bother you. Okay. That is what alpha mentality means to me. And that's what alpha mentality I think should mean to you. Don't <clears throat> develop such a thick skin, but be able to adapt to situations and be cool, be open and be funny. And, 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 you know, and you can't do that when things bother you, when things are sitting there eating at you and nagging at you all the fucking time. Okay. <clears throat> so that is where that's the advice that I tell my other guys on the other side of the spectrum to do open up. It's okay to open up because a lot of the tough exteriors that these guys create are because they went through a breakup before and they learned all the red pill lessons. They learned, <laughs> they learned that women are a specific way. Female nature is a specific way. So they learned that stuff and they, they turned into this fucking turtle. Okay. And they're tough. They're tough, but they, but you don't open up anymore, which is going to stop her from thinking that you're going to be a good option for providing that openness to her and to that woman and to your children, right? They're going to be like, what, how is this guy going to teach anybody? He's too fucking mean. He's too stiff. He's not funny. He's not, he's not trying to have a good time. He's not trying to be positive. So I highly suggest you guys pick up this book. So I want to tell you guys what I've learned, but I want to read one more thing real quick. High value men have the ability to be long-term providers. That doesn't necessarily mean they're wealthy, it simply means they possess certain qualities like foresight, discipline, a social network, resourcefulness, intelligence, and humor. High value men also have the willingness to stick around. Willingness to willingness is evident in qualities like generosity, emotional stability, and the ability to maintain emotional bonds. Maybe that's why so many young couples end up with dogs. Puppies were probably invented so women could test men's willingness to commit to a noisy, hungry creature with Poor bowel control. Again, please pick this up. What I've learned as a man being in a, in a in an LTR, okay, is it's a it's just a balance. It's a balance. And what I've noticed is if I'm too when I create when I do business, right? I do a lot of business shit. When I'm too focused on business and I'm not open with her, okay, it creates too much emotional distance. It's almost like you have to constantly have a little bit going on every week, right? That's why I say make sets like set dates. Connecting to her emotional center. I'm not perfect when it comes to this. It's actually, I'm far from it. It's just, it's an ongoing learning experience because first of all, human beings are changing all the time. Her being around me is creating her, creating the, uh, causing her to, she's looking at me from the outside. I'm with her all the time. She's like, this guy's aiming and for shit, doing shit. It's gonna cause, it, that shit kind of shit rubs off right? You are who you spend your time around. If you spend your time around losers, you're going to be the next loser. This includes family. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. Some family members, you know, they didn't do a whole lot in life. So what are they going to teach you about doing shit and getting shit done? That's why you have to seek out mentors. I'm coming out with another video about why mentorship is so important. Mentorship is extremely important and it we have poor mentorship today in 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 the, in the general sense of the word what i've learned is you have to constantly be improving your value as much as you can in this sense of the word that's why i read it to you because nailing it down in terms of okay you want to make a lot of money right high net worth that's fine that's up to you those are your goals but there's also an emotional side to it that's not too feminine that's not too girly. That's not too 
you know, out of the realm of what you guys can understand. And it's not Disney. That's what I like about that book. There's Disney, the Disney lens, right? Like I talk about. And then there's the, then there's the real shit. And the real shit is one I want to talk about and I want to teach you guys here. So really pick up this book. It's really good. That's within like the first, I don't know, like 10 pages, I think. Okay. So it's a, it, if I remember to put it there, it should be in the, the comment section below pinned. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys want coaching, let me know. That will also be in the description box down below. And it's permanent right now at this time. Uh, and I'll see you guys there. Done.